you guys like about Christian so much to give up both second round picks? Uh, he's big and fast, and he's a great kid. I think he's just going to be a great fit for us. Was there any talk of, uh, I mean, there's some reporting going around that you guys tried to get to 32 yesterday with the bike. Was this the guy, maybe? Um, uh, those, you, yeah, those, th those questions I'll leave, uh, I'll leave for Brian. Okay. Yeah. So he was a guy you obviously. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's been a guy through the process that, you know, just collectively, I think we've, you know, you look at his size, speed. Um, he's played at a phenomenal program, and he's, he's used to winning. So there's a lot, a lot of things that went into that, ultimately. What's the transition from that level? I mean, obviously, North Dakota State's a powerhouse at the level, but from the FCS level to, to the NFL, as far as, you know, from a receiver goes. Sure. Um, I, I think one of the biggest things that, you know, we've talked about, and especially in, in Christian's case, is that um, we've got a really good relationship with that staff at NDSU, and they're – I think they've won nine national championships the last 11 years. So it's, you know, on a same level, it's kind of like the two guys we drafted from Georgia. You know, this is what we do. We win. And so from that standpoint, the way they hold themselves at NDSU, even though it is a lower level of competition, I think uh, it speaks to his ability to come in and compete right away. Is he a guy who can help you? I know he returned kicks at North Dakota State. Is he a guy that you're looking at maybe to help out with special teams? Uh, you know, that's a that's up to coach, you know, the coaching staff and Coach Passaccia, but um, he was an All-American as a junior, as a kick returner, so obviously the more you can do. Mel, where does he shine in terms of his route ability um, as you guys get to push him into the next level? Yeah, I think, I mean, you guys see it, he, he's as fast as he is and his length and his stride, you know, any type of the vertical routes, that sort of stuff. You know, it's exponential what he could ultimately do for offense that way. What did you see specifically that made you think this guy can not just be a good player, but he can help you out immediately? Well, I, I kind of go back to the, the you know, the, the everything that encompasses the kid, you know, and his ability to not just uh, be a playmaker that way, but um, you have to know where that kid's at every time he's on the field. From and so just from that standpoint, you know that's a that's a weapon for offense. Did you kind of sleep on this overnight? Try to figure out a way to go up together? Um, no, not necessarily. Um, it, I, you know, I give Brian and Woj and Sully, you know, all those guys a ton of credit. The way we do things and our our scouts, that it it's such a collective effort. And Brian is so open to allowing everybody to be a part of the process that. Um, you know, we're spitballing stuff all the time. And it, uh, you know, all those types of conversations, the phone calls we have with other teams, it's just a kind of an organic process. And it was just, it happened to come together today. What was the level of concern if you didn't make such a jump? I mean, this was a massive jump that somebody else would take him. Yeah, I think, and I'll give Ozzy credit. I spent a lot of years in Baltimore. He'd always say a pick is just a pick until it becomes a player. And from that standpoint, if you love the player, you just, you know, find a way to get him. You know, there were some teams that had a little bit of concern about just him catching the ball. Did sure. You see any of that? I, I mean, to his credit and talking to the coaches there, he works every day on the jugs machine. He works all the time, not just um, on his hands, but in his route running and just becoming a better player. Because he does, you know, he does carry a chip on his shoulder. You know, NDSU is his mm -hmm. only offer. So um, that, in my mind, that's not a concern. So, Mel, in 2020, you played with Trey Lance. So Correct. The first you know, yep. high pick, but his numbers were very good. What, what happened there? Well, they had that COVID year, so they had a quarterback change. Um, I don't think it was a, for a lack of anything that Christian did or didn't do. And if you're familiar with NDSU, they love to run the football. And so his opportunities will come and go sometimes. And, um, that was something from talking to the staff at, at NDSU allevi you know, alleviated any kind of the, c the concerns in terms of that production that year. You mentioned them with the run first part, but how is he as a blocker? Oh, he's excellent. He's, to his credit, for his size, he's not just a vertical threat. He's a guy that will put his hands on people. And, the, and, and as you guys know, the way Coach um, you know, preaches to our wide receivers, they have to be able to block. Talked about this was, is the championship program, not your typical FCS program. Still, yeah. 
coming from an FCS school, do you expect more of a learning curve maybe than a typical book year? No. I, I, that is a, you know, it's, it's open-ended, but I will say this. I know that Coach Enns, um, from talking to him, he doesn't allow the players there to call themselves FCS or call themselves 1AA. He says he, he believes they're a mid-major program. So from that standpoint, I don't think so. How's his play strength, especially against press man at the line of scrimmage? Is that something he needs to work on? Uh, I mean, much like his total game, I say, you know, any, any player we bring in here is going to have something to improve on. But his physical attributes and his athleticism are going to make it a lot easier from from somebody that's six foot, you know, 185 pounds. He's just not that. He's a big man. Well, what all was your exposure to him before the draft? I know sometimes there's guys that you like and you pretty much ignore them, so no one knows how much you like them. Sure. What was your, how much interaction did you have? Um, we put Christian through no more of an extensive process. We have, you know, a bunch of guys in this year's draft, so it's just in you know, we talk about the process, and, and Brian preaches that, and it was just a consistent through the, through the whole process that way. He had, he had a visit here, right? Yes, he did. So what, what did you glean from that? I, you know, if, if you go to a school in the fall, and you go to the All-Star game, and you go to the Combine, and you're checking boxes along the way, he came in here, and we, he just he checked another box for us. And it, it really just confirmed for us everything we thought about him. With that, that jump in competition that he'll be making, how? How did you guys feel he did at the Senior Bowl? Was the, were there things there that, that stood out? I think he took a significant jump in the Senior Bowl because, you know, you, we, you guys have hit on it a couple times, a low, lower level of competition, so to speak. Um, and there aren't as many guys on, that, on our board that he's playing against. Um, but he got a chance to do that at the Senior Bowl, and I, he, you know, he blew it out of the water. Now, what do you think? Is there a, uh, a test that you think dictates or, or determines what a guy is good at getting off the line of scrimmage? Is it 60, shuttle, short shuttle, is there anything? Uh, I think good football players come in all shapes and sizes. So I, you know, there's nothing quantitatively that I've ever studied or been a part of or we've ever studied that says this guy's going to do it better than somebody else. So I, I don't think so. Getting back to the drops, he did drop some passes, maybe more so last year than this. Is that just? Focus drops. You have any? Andy, would you put your finger on there? Um, I don't. I don't think so. It, but it's not something that's a concern that would have prevented us from from valuing him the way we did anyway. Did you guys have a first round grade on him? I'll leave that up to Brian. That's a question for him.